with his wife at his side, emotional David Cameron stands down in the wake of historic Brexit vote, as rival Boris Johnson makes his pitch to take over as Prime Minister running a new Great Britain. PM gives tearful resignation speech after leave secures dramatic victory by 52% to 48%. Mr Cameron admits he cannot be the captain who steers the UK to new future outside the Brussels club. Boris Johnson booed and called a TWT as he emerged from London home without commenting on result. Mr Johnson later made what amounted to a pitch to succeed Mr Cameron in Downing Street at a press conference. Brexit camp performed strongly in Wales and England, Scotland, London and big cities voted to remain in the EU. Bank of England governor offered £250 billion after pound and FTSE 100 slumped before markets made late recovery. European Council president says UK leaving could make EU stronger, but other countries may now try to leave. Boris Johnson has made a pitch to be Prime Minister of a new Great Britain outside the EU after a devastated David Cameron announced his resignation. Mr Johnson started to set out his vision for a revitalised, outward-looking country in a speech just hours after his longtime rival tearfully declared that he would stand aside in the wake of the referendum Brexit vote. But it immediately became clear that whoever is in Downing Street will face a struggle to hold the UK together, as SNP leader Nicola Sturgeon warned it was now highly likely that a second ballot on independence will be held north of the border. The developments came after the Leave campaign stacked up 52% of the votes despite massive support for Remain in Scotland and major cities including London. The Bank of England Governor Mark Carney has attempted to reassure panicking markets this morning after the pound nose dive to its lowest level against the US dollar for 31 years, and the FTSE slumped by 8%. The index closed just 2.7% down, as it recovered. Flanked by wife Samantha in Downing Street, Mr Cameron said he had been proud to serve as PM for the past six years. But he said it would not be right for him to be the captain of the ship while the UK negotiated its exit from the EU. After his speech, Mr Cameron travelled to Buckingham Palace to discuss the results with the Queen. Boris Johnson thanked voters for trusting his plan to leave the EU today and sought to reassure young Remain voters by saying we will be no less European despite cutting ties with Brussels. He insisted there was no need for haste in the process of officially withdrawing from the EU as he appealed for calm and sought to reassure fears over economic and political uncertainty. After the EU referendum results delivered a shock win for Brexit in the early hours of this morning, Mr Johnson said the EU was a noble idea for its time but was not longer right for this country. Brussels was too remote, too opaque and not not accountable enough to the people it is meant to serve, the former mayor of London added as he hailed the glorious opportunity that quitting the EU gave the UK. President Barack Obama said the UK will remain an indispensable partner of the United States following the Brexit vote in the referendum, even though he intervened in the campaign to say voting to leave would leave Britain at the back of the queue for a trade deal. Mr Obama said, the people of the United Kingdom have spoken, and we respect their decision. The special relationship between the United States and the United Kingdom is enduring and the United Kingdom's membership in NATO remains a vital cornerstone of U.S. foreign, security and economic policy. So too is our relationship with the European Union, which has done so much to promote stability, stimulate economic growth, and foster the spread of democratic values and ideals across the continent and beyond. The United Kingdom and the European Union will remain indispensable partners of the United States even as they begin negotiating their ongoing relationship to ensure continued stability, security and prosperity for Europe, Great Britain, and Northern Ireland, and the world. The bombshell announcement came after possibly the most dramatic night Britain has experienced in peacetime. Among the biggest developments are Leave ended up the clear winner in the EU referendum by 52% to 48%, after Remain's strong performance in Scotland and big cities such as London failed to offset huge Brexit votes in England and Wales. 
David Cameron resigns as result was confirmed with Boris Johnson now the bookie's favourite to replace him as Prime Minister. Brexit sent the pound plunging against the US dollar, losing around 20 cents to hit its lowest level since 1985. The FTSE was also down as much as 7% in morning trading. But it closed 2.7% down and pound also recovered. Standard and Poor's have also warned that Britain's AAA credit rating looks untenable in the wake of the Brexit vote. The Bank of England has moved to reassure investors that it will take all necessary steps, including £250 billion to stabilise the economy. Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon said it was now highly likely that a second independence referendum will be held. European Council President Donald Tusk expressed sorrow at Brexit but insisted, what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. German Chancellor Angela Merkel expressed deep regret that the UK had chosen to leave, while French President François Hollande said negotiations over terms should start as quickly as possible. Tony Blair said the decision would have vast political and economic consequences for the UK and all sides had to be grown up. President Barack Obama said the UK will remain indispensable partners of the United States, despite his earlier trade deal warning. Mr Johnson, who was booed and called a TWT by protesters as he left his home in central London this morning, started off his statement at the Vote Leave HQ in central London by paying tribute to his extraordinary Tory colleague Mr Cameron. The former London mayor stopped short of confirming that he would stand to succeed the PM, but made a pitch for people to help him forge a better future. He also sought to soothe fears over the financial market panic that has greeted the historic result, stressing that nothing would change in the short term. I want to begin by paying tribute to David Cameron who has spoken earlier for Downing Street. I know I speak for Michael when I say how sad I am he has decided to step down but obviously I respect that decision, Mr Johnson said. I have known David Cameron for a very long time and I believe he has been one of the most extraordinary politicians of our age. A brave and principled man who's given superb leadership of his party and his country for many years, reforming our public services, delivering one nation conservative government making this country the most dynamic economy in Europe and with his own brand of compassionate conservatism that rightly earned him the first majority government for decades.